Another uh, disappointing afternoon uh, this afternoon. Yeah, it's very disappointing. It's frustrating. Um, massive missed opportunity for ourselves. I think we looked at it before, and, and I've not seen the results yet. But you know, potential like a lot of potential banana skins really for for the big boys. And today wasn't one that I expected us to to fall short on. But we were. You know, we were outplayed. I don't think we were out four in every other game that we've we've lost this year. We have kind of lost the battle but I don't think we lost the battle today, I just think we, we got outplayed. Um, I don't think, I'm not going to say we, we underestimated them at all because we don't underestimate anyone, I'm sure the boys didn't but something didn't quite click today um, and, and that's obviously the, the disappointing thing that we come away here with, with nothing. There was a real hunger about Dorchester today, um, why I don't know but uh, they seem to get in behind us quite a lot. That's something that um, I thought we'd stamped out to be honest with you. Teams, teams getting in behind us, that was a problem for us probably for the first, the first quarter of the season, I would, I'd say, to be honest with you. Uh, teams getting in behind us was a big problem. I um, thought we'd eradicated that and, and worked on it, but no, you're right, they did get in behind us a lot today. They put a lot of balls in our box. Um, we didn't really deal with that as well as I thought we would have probably as, as I expected us to. Um, didn't really get hold of the ball in midfield and our front two who normally have got great movement and get in, we just couldn't seem to find that killer pass to obviously get them into them. And again, Paul Walker, I mean, how many times have I mentioned to you this season, uh, has probably kept the score down a little bit, I guess. Again, um, Paul Walker is, is, for me and Clarky, I know that for a fact, is the best goalkeeper at this level. Um, you know, he got player player of the year last year, um, managers player of the year, sports player of the year, whatever he got. He he, he, had, he had an absolute clear up to be honest with you, um, and he's consistent. And you know, that's something that I keep saying to the boys is consistency. You know, we we went on a run eight eight unbeaten. I think it would have been today, and it's I wanted us to get to the ten mark before you know maybe you look at it again. But we got to eight or seven, I think it was. Um, and now we start again, you know, and obviously our next game is Wednesday in the Reading Shore and winning's a habit. We we haven't ever been beaten twice on a spin, that's something that I've just said to the boys that they need really need to bounce back now and we need to see a reaction on obviously Wednesday. That's the important thing, isn't it, when you do get beaten to uh, show a reaction and uh, try and get a reaction from some of the players. Do you think that um Callan Thomas was missed this afternoon, or Callan Thomas will always be missed because he's. We, you can probably see him in my team selections. The fact that you know Callan has been a regular for the whole time that I've been here myself. So Callan's somebody that I really rate. He's somebody that I brought to the club, and of course you miss players like that. Um, Greg Mills today, you know that that player to to unbreak them. You know Millsy was a, a big miss for us and. We just didn't click together as, as a team today. Obviously, we had to make the early change in Elliot Bentley, which I don't like doing, but at the same time, it was a tactical switch. It had nothing to do with Elliot's performance himself. Um, it's a learning curve for him. You know, he's, had, he's probably had four or five great games for us. Today wasn't his game, um, which is why we brought him off. We put Jamie Anton out there, and it kind of solved that problem to, to a certain extent. But, you know, they, they were getting a lot of balls in our box, and we wasn't dealing with a big centre forward. Molly came on. And he dealt with him a lot better than obviously the two centre halves were doing previously to that. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Um, with a game like that, we do take a youngster off so early. Um, I guess the hard thing has been trying to keep his spirits up and you know just nurture him along. Really, we did it with uh, Conor Kennedy at, at Dunstable, and it's not to dig them out at all. It and it's not necessary. To, to protect them, to be honest with you. Like I say, it's a learning curve for the young lads, um, and as their careers flourish, which I'm sure they will, um, they'll get tested more and more. Elliot Bentley, I've not lost faith in. Like I say, he didn't get brought off after 30 minutes for performance reasons. It was a tactical switch that allowed me to bring Paul Malone on, and we added that little bit of height, which is why, again, I came on with half an hour to play just to add that height. We, we couldn't break them down the way we wanted to play football, so we had to go a little bit more direct than I wanted to. Yeah, um, 